But what needs more courage, I think, is to unlearn certain things that practitioners do and to accept that certain principles of trauma work are very, very simple and to, how should I say, just to try doing it and to resist certain uh, instincts that have been ingrained in us. Like, for example, talking extensively about a traumatic experience. And I'm talking about that so much that that is not the right approach and actually a, a big mistake to talk in detail about a traumatic experience outside of the context of emotional processing or trauma processing techniques and always after emotional stabilization. But there is this, yeah, this impulse that most people have of to say, all right, now let's talk about it and tell me your story. And I do know where it comes from and I analyze that in some of my writing where I say, yeah, sure, of course. Taboo, on the other hand, not being able to talk about things, that's also bad, but that's not what I mean. Of course, we are going to talk about the issues and not only talk about it but process them but it has to ha happen in the right context to avoid re-traumatization just a simple unpacking of a traumatic experience does very little constructively for the survivor usually <laughs>